50 seconds past 1800 hours Pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio pakistan the news read by daman zaman the headlines The Senate was informed today that sub-campuses of public sector universities are being established across the country, including six in Balochistan. The Foreign Minister says Pakistani expatriates in Oman are contributing to the country's socio-economic development, besides acting as a bridge of bilateral relations. The advisor on finance has said measures have been taken to provide affordable food and medical treatment to poor segments of the society. Over 100,000 undergraduate students, including nearly 50,000 female applicants, have applied for SR's undergraduate scholarship project. In occupied Kashmir, Hurriyat organizations have warned those who have shown their readiness to become collaborators of BJP to advance its Hindutva agenda in the territory. Britain, France and Germany have expressed the resolve of launching a dispute resolution mechanism under the 2015 nuclear deal with Iran after accusing Tehran of repeated violations. And now the news in detail. The Senate was informed today that the revenue of National Highways Authority has increased to 25.80 billion rupees over the last 16 months. The Minister for Communications, Murad Said, informed the House during question hour that the amount includes recoveries of 11.90 billion rupees. He said toll tax has not been increased by the present government on the motorways. The Minister for Education and Professional Training, Shafkat Mahmood, informed the House that sub-campuses of public sector universities are being established across the country, including six in Balochistan. The House today passed the Naya Pakistan Housing and Development Authority Bill 2019. The bill was moved by Minister for Parliamentary Affairs, Azam Khan Sawati. The Minister of State for Parliamentary Affairs, Ali Mohammed Khan, has said the country has been put on the path of economic revival due to the concrete steps taken by the government. He was responding to a calling attention notice moved by Sabir Hussain Qaim Khani in the National Assembly today. The Minister categorically rejected reports that Hyderabad Dry Port is being closed down, saying that the Dry Port caters to areas of interior sand, including Larkana, Sakkar and Jacobabad. He said the dry port witnessed an increase of business activity by over 100% during the last one year. The Foreign Minister Shami Mutkureshi has said Pakistani expatriates in Oman are significantly contributing to the country's social and economic development, besides acting as a strong bridge of bilateral relations. Talking to the media at Muscat International Airport before departing for home, he said hard work and diligence of around 270,000 Pakistani community has proved instrumental in further strengthening ties between the two countries. The advisor to the Prime Minister on Finance, Dr. Abdul Hafiz Sheikh, has said the government is striving to facilitate trade and increase production capacity of various sectors to enhance exports of the country. Talking to the French ambassador, Dr. Marc Barathi, in Islamabad today, he said the government has doubled the budget allocated for the social sector, while measures have also been taken to provide affordable food and medical treatment to the poor. Various proposals to boost bilateral relations between the two countries and increase French investment in Pakistan were also discussed during the meeting. The privatization committee of the cabinet has approved to exclude five of the total 32 government properties that were selected for privatization. The advisor on finance, Dr. Abdul Hafiz Sheikh, chaired the meeting in Islamabad today. The properties removed from the privatization list are located in Islamabad, Lahore, and Karachi. Meanwhile, three out of the five properties removed from the list will be handed over to the Naya Pakistan Housing Authority 
while for the remaining two, the concerned institutions will offer alternatives and mortgage-free properties for privatization. The special assistant to the Prime Minister on Health, Dr. Zafar Mirza, says the committee has been constituted to review impacts of climate change on human health in the country. Chairing a meeting of the working group on climate change in Islamabad today, he said the committee will also set up a policy that will change the way we live with changing seasons. Dr. Zafar Mirza said Pakistan is among the most vulnerable countries to get affected by climate change. Some 132,000 undergraduate students, including nearly 50,000 female applicants, have applied for SR's undergraduate scholarships project through online HAC portal following the launch of the project by the Prime Minister two months ago. This was stated during a meeting of SR's scholarship steering committee, co-chaired by Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Social Protection, Dr. Sanya Nishtar and the Chairman Higher Education Commission, Dr. Tariq Banori in Islamabad today. The meeting was informed that all students from low-income families studying in undergraduate programs in public sector universities are eligible to apply. This is Radio Pakistan. 57 people have been killed and scores of others injured in landsliding and avalanche in 15 villages of Neelam Valley in Azad, Jammu and Kashmir. The injured have been shifted to nearby hospitals. Teams of National Disaster Management Authority and other relevant departments are carrying out relief operations in the affected areas where people are being provided food, blankets, and medicines. Prime Minister Imran Khan is directed to immediately provide all humanitarian assistance on emergency footing to the affected people in Azad, Jammu, and Kashmir due to landsliding. In a tweet today, he asked the National Disaster Management Authority, the military and all the federal ministries to take timely actions in this regard. He said severe snowfall and landslides in Azad, Jammu and Kashmir have caused misery and deaths. In occupied Kashmir, Hurriyat organizations have come down heavily on those who have shown their readiness to become collaborators of Bharatiya Janata Party to advance its Hindutva agenda in the territory. In their statements, Jammu and Kashmir People's League, Jammu and Kashmir Young Men's League, and other Hurriyat organizations warned the people, like former PDP member Altaf Bukhari, against presenting themselves as the new facilitator of the BJP, saying that they would be considered as traitors of the Kashmir cause. The statement said that every politician in occupied territory should keep in mind how the former chief ministers of the territory were humiliated by the Bharatiya Janata Party's stalwarts. Iran says it has arrested an undisclosed number of suspects accused of a role in shooting down a Ukrainian airliner. Earlier in a television address, the Iranian president, Hassan Rouhani, promised a thorough investigation into the shooting down of the plane. Britain, France and Germany have expressed their resolve of launching a dispute mechanism under the 2015 nuclear deal with Iran after accusing Tehran of repeated violations. In a statement, the foreign ministers of Britain, France and Germany said Iran has been progressively scaling back its commitments under the deal and define key restrictions on its nuclear program. They also insisted they are committed to the agreement with Iran. The Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan says Ankara is determined to stop Syrian government violations of ceasefire in Idlib to prevent 400,000 people fleeing towards its border. This he said while speaking at the parliament in Ankara. And finally, the weather. Mainly cold and dry weather is likely to prevail in most parts of the country, while very cold conditions in upper parts of North Balochistan have been forecast during the next 24 hours. However, cloudy weather with light rain and snowfall over the hills is expected in Gilgit, Baltistan and Kashmir. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio. The link facebook.com forward slash radio pakistan news official